Hi everybody, my name is Michelle. I'm a graphic designer with Girl Scout Spirit in Nebraska. And today we're gonna be doing a simple origami box activity. That's really great for beginners. So let's get started. The only thing you're gonna need for this activity is a piece of paper, some scissors, and maybe some tape to keep it together for the beginners. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make your paper into a perfect square. So the easiest way to do this is to make an eight and a half by 11 into a triangle on one side. Go ahead and use your fingernail to make your creases nice and sharp because this will end up helping you later. And then you're gonna trim off the excess And please use parental supervision. Okay, go ahead and discard that. And now we've already made our first fold. So now we wanna make a second fold going across. So fold the other corner in, make that fold nice and sharp. So now your paper should look like this. Now we're gonna make a plus sign on top of our cross. So let's fold it the opposite direction. And then do the same thing on the other side. So when you're done with this step, you should have a plus sign and a cross sign on your paper. The next thing we're gonna do is fold in all four corners to the center point. And this step doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just get it as close as you can and make sure that your corners are nice and sharp and not overlapping each other. Okay, now that that step's done, the paper should look like this. Now we're gonna start on making the sides of the box. We're gonna take one side and then fold it just into the center point, going across the middle. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Just make sure that they're not overlapping at all. Make that edge nice and crisp. Now we're gonna unfold it slightly, but not all the way. Make sure those corners are still pushed in. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side again, folding in towards the middle. And do the same thing on the other side. Again, making sure that your edges are not overlapping. All right, and now it should look like this. So now we're gonna open it up again slightly, keep those corners pushed in. And now you're gonna take the top point and pull it out, and then use your two fingers to push in the corners um, towards the top here. They should naturally kind of do that. And then you might need to finesse it a little bit to get the corners pointed in towards the middle. So you're almost making a house shape. And then once you get your corners pointed inside, you might need to pinch them a little bit more to get them to cooperate and then fold it over on itself. So you've made the third side of the box and you can pinch your corners to help it along a little bit. 
And now do the same thing on the other side. Pull it out. And then push in the corners again, like so. And then pinch in your little triangles here on your house shape. And then you go ahead and fold it over on itself. And push it inside the bottom of the box. You can pinch your corners again to get them nice and crisp. And there you go, you have a box. These boxes are great because if you make one slightly smaller than another one, they can go inside of each other and now you've got a lid and a bottom and they're great for holding little gifts or trinkets or whatever you want. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like or smash that like button on YouTube and we'll see you next time. Bye!